We want to make some wooden swords so that we can uh, train ourselves how to sword fight. Because that's just okay. fun. Yeah, it is. That's just lots of fun. <laughs> so Storm does woodworking, so we, we're going to check and see if he's capable of making uh, candles, and then we're going to go buy dowels. This wood work, but uh, it's ash wood, and Ooh, it's very, very okay. hard. Is what if we took the dowel, right, and just had the full dowel, and then we uh, like cut off a section of dowel like that, and then we take this, create a cross handle with it, and then we just wrap this with like duct tape or something to thicken it, so it becomes an actual solid handle, and then we can always just attach a counterbalance weight however much is needed at that point. Okay. Something else that we have at our disposal. Follow me, back outside. Ah. I think that would make two handles. And then... Yeah, if we did like at least one-handed swords, that would easily make a handle. Yeah. And then we just need to then... hollow out enough that we can get a dowel in it. That could make that could make a couple cross guards because they don't need to be big. We could honestly cut that in half, and then there's two two cross guards. It just needs to be enough. Perfect. We're gonna need to do some sawing. Well, let's let's go get some dowels and do that. That'll be the first step. I would say a uh, like hardware store would probably be the cheapest option. Okay. Today we need to fix the tire pressure. Okay. We need a dollar fifty. We need a dollar fifty for air. Yeah. Air, Ryan. I know. <laughs> I gotcha. Do you know what the pressure is supposed to be? It should say on the tire. All you need oh. is the handle comfortable to grip. And then okay. you need to round off the point, and then you I just put that. a cross guard somewhere in the middle. I can do that. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, so, not this one, though. Okay. Okay, let's go. Got this done. Yep, that's pretty long. I figured. It's less than half that even the big sword goes. Right. About 40 inches without the pommel. Let's use, let's use the ends because then we only have to make two cuts rather than three cuts. So now this goes right there. That's a full sword, dude. Valuable lesson today. <laughs> Cutting this is not made for wood. It's straight. There we go. Yeah. That's our basic. That's that's well on its way, dude. One now. Ooh, dude. Nice. <laughs> My only complaint would be, can you continue it further up to the edge? I like that would just be a little bit comfortable. Okay. All right, so this is going to be absolutely ridiculous, but I'm going to duct tape a rock to the back of this. If done right, I can actually get it to balance relatively where it needs to be. Okay, check this out. Here's our template. There's the line it needs to balance on, right? Right there. That's where it needs to balance. Here's the line it needs to balance. Duct taped a rock to the back. And boom. 
balance is right there, baby. It doesn't look the grandest, but I don't know, I can't complain. Cool. Right now, Storm is finishing off handle number two. So there we have them, two beautiful swords that we can bash each other with, learn how to sword fight. But it's been a long day and we feel accomplished, so as for now, I'll see you in the next video.